So ever since the end of Dressrosa with the founding of the Grand Straw Hat Fleet, we've had a huge advancement in Luffy's sort of status in the New World. He now has a very huge fleet and the bounty of the fleet outranks every other crew we know of so far. Now this is a huge step for him because we've seen with Whitebeard and many other Yonko, they have huge crews that are able to take over entire island chains, rule entire territories. Now at some point Luffy's going to become very very strong in order to make that next step to Pirate King. He's going to need to become Yonko level or at least become able to establish himself as a Yonko, probably by beating Kaido since he did say Kaido would be his next enemy. And having a huge number of crew members is very important because no matter how strong you are, you're going to need a huge crew as Yonko to be able to control and really establish these territories because as Rayleigh said to Luffy when he was talking about becoming Pirate King and stuff, he said that he had to conquer the whole Grand Line. Obviously this means a new world with all the territories. You're going to need to at least have control of these territories to become Pirate King. That's what Roger did. He had control of everything. And Luffy's pretty much already confirmed that he is going to rule over territory when he said that he would take Fishman Island from Big Mom and rule over it himself. So obviously this huge fleet with all these very strong guys are going to come in handy in ruling these territories. He might have a system like Big Mom where he sets each captain to rule over a certain island. But what if I told you that his fleet is not complete yet and it's only at its half potential? Now we have been given some hints and foreshadows here, but um, one of the main foreshadows I want to bring up first is Usopp actually. Now if you haven't seen the theory about Usopp's lies always coming true, it's not really a theory, it's already been pretty much confirmed at this point because in a cover page, uh, Usopp was wearing shorts I believe that said lies come true. And we've seen throughout the story that all of his lies have pretty much become true. To give a few examples, um, I remember him saying something about a giant goldfish and then he did on the Grand Line see a giant goldfish come out of the water. Also before he had hockey, he also predicted he would have hockey by saying, by lying and saying he had it already. And then later on, after like a couple hours, he literally awakened it. So if you haven't seen that whole idea slash theory slash whatever it is yet, I would suggest looking it up. I will, will probably put a link to it in the description. But basically what I'm trying to get out here is that Usopp's lies have come true and there is one lie in particular that is kind of coming true and that is the lie that he has 8,000 followers. Now rounded up, the fleet has about 5,500 members which is around 2,500 away from 8,000. So there will most likely be around 2,500 more members to join if not more because I do believe Usopp said that he had 8,000 plus followers. Now you may be wondering how this connects to Usopp and because it's not his fleet, it's the Straw Hat fleet. But if you remember, they were the ones, the fleet members in the Coliseum were the ones who praised him as God Usopp and they said they would be his followers. And it's possible that one day when the fleet is completed, they may take charge under him for a little bit. Maybe if Luffy has to go away or something, I don't know. But either way, the numbers are pretty clear in indicating that there will be a another half to the fleet. And as for the other major hint, it's been in front of our eyes the whole time really. Back a couple chapters ago, we saw Luffy, the Samurai, and the Minx all make an agreement saying that they would be in a temporary alliance. We also brought up Marco and all that. So I do think that this is sort of an early founding of the second half of the fleet. The Minx, despite being trapped on Zo most of their lives, they do seem pretty good at seafaring and being able to move around by boat. So I imagine, especially with the Dukes being on Roger's ship before, that they will be very, very useful fleet members. I don't imagine all of the Minx coming, of course, onto Luffy's alliance or whatever, but I do see at least maybe Nekomamushi or Inu Arashi forming a little Mink crew of the strongest Minx and having them under Luffy's fleet. And of course having the samurai as another part of the fleet, especially since they would make good ambassadors and such for uh, Wano if Luffy does end up freeing them and they end up joining under him maybe as supporters of him. And of course they can use the straw hat flag as for protection, but I doubt they'll need it because they're Wano. And then of course we have Marco and the remaining few members of the Whitebeard Pirates who the Whitebeard Pirates were obviously very very attached to Luffy. They try to help him as Ace's brother and such. So I do think that Marco will be another fleet commander or captain 
um, under the Straw Hat fleet. It would be really cool to see Marco too, of course, because a lot of people want Marco to join the main crew, which I doubt will happen because he's too strong. But as being a, uh, a fleet commander or captain, that would really suit him, and especially since the fleet captains are very strong, Marco would fit in perfectly. Now, of course, there are many more possibilities since we don't really know of the other islands in the New World yet. There are a lot of other islands in the new world so i'm sure even after wano there will still be a few slots left for fleet captains or fleet commanders so it would be really cool to see maybe some other races as the captains because we know luffy's uh, big thing is getting is uniting all of the oppressed people and getting them to work under him and help him out and worst comes the worst if jimbei doesn't end up joining the main crew i've always been a big fan of jimbei joining as a fleet captain and of course, his bond with Luffy is very, very strong. So I think if he joined with the other Fishmen, it'd be really nice to have them as ambassadors for Fishman Island. And of course, having Wadatsumi, the giant sea monk under him, that would be really nice because he's the only one anywhere near the size of Sanjuan Wolf. So that would be a big help for the fleet if he could have Wadatsumi fight Sanjuan Wolf with Blackbeard at the end of the series. But it does seem to be setting up that Jinbei will probably join the main crew, still not confirmed, but uh, it would be nice if maybe his entire crew instead of just Jinbei joined under the fleet. But of course I'm limited on information here, so if you have any ideas on who might join, did I miss anybody, uh, write them down below, share with me what you think, your thoughts, and other than that, I will see you all later.